We have had some people ask us how we met and to do a story time on how we met and I thought that would be a good idea because we have kind of touched base on it like in random videos like live streams people have asked us occasionally and like in random videos we've kind of touched up again uh, um on it and stuff so i feel like doing an actual story time video where people will see the video on our page and be like oh i'm curious because we get the question so much okay. so um where this you guys can leave your comments down below and let us know what other story times you want us to do and q a's and all that stuff mm -hmm. we're gonna be whipping out these videos for every other day from here on out you so guys hold us accountable if we don't do it you can yell at us that's all i got yeah that's, 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 uh, yeah i suppose they can do that anyway but so right. of course boo has to be running on his cat wheel while uh, we're making a video again it's our little bangle buddy and he loves his cat wheel let's start all right. Okay, so, so how did we meet? I don't even know what year it was. It was 2011. 2000, no. 10. What year did you graduate? 13. 2010, I was a junior, right? And you were a freshman or a sophomore. You were a freshman. I'm pretty sure I was a sophomore because like, I don't want to really talk about it. Oh, you're right. Video, yep. but, I'm pretty sure I was a sophomore, so it would have been 2011 in the fall. Um, damn, stuff happened so fast. I was working at Target at the time. He didn't have a job. I was 16, he was 18, 17. 17? Yep. We were in this lifetime activities class and we got to pick our partners all the time. We never had assigned partners. We, it, the teacher was really chill, really cool. And so she let us pick our own partners and we had, um, were we in any groups besides the one or? We were in the archery one. We were in the cooking one. Okay, so what's first? Archery was first, then cooking. Okay, so we had this archery um, group and it was me, you, Hector I think was in it, right? Tom. Was Hector in it? And then, oh, the archery one, yeah, was And then Hector. who was in the archery? So me, you, Hector. Then was it Tom or was it someone else? I don't remember who the last was. Was it Lucero? Was. That was the cooking group. Right. Well, anyway, there was one other person. And we, this is, we kind of like met in that class before this, but we didn't talk. We were just kind of like, I don't think we talked at all. I, no, not really. Yeah. I don't, and, I never really thought anything until that group and I was dating somebody and he was dating somebody and um, in the group I remember Hector telling you you can share that if you want you gotta make me say it I like you that have part. to because it's your friend he was just being stupid and made a joke he's like quit staring at her butt because I'm guessing he was staring at your butt and he said it really loud yeah and, uh, and that's his personality where he just says that kind of shit because it's funny right well I that's how I am I would just randomly say something like that just to throw someone off like oh my god I'm not even doing that dude right. don't embarrass me like that you know right I was shoot I, it was my turn and I was shooting the arrows and that's when he had said that to John and I thought you were cute but I never like acted on it. I was like, oh, this guy's so cute. He's so hot. He probably has a girlfriend that's like a million times prettier than me, blah, blah, blah. And plus I was dating somebody, so I wasn't like trying to be in a relationship with somebody else or whatever, you know, but absolutely. Um, I was actually in a really bad relationship. So I still, I was flirty, you know, like that's just how I was. I was young and I didn't care. And he was, do he, he was a douche anyway, so whatever. We had this cooking class, well, the cooking um, part of the class, and we were in a group with Tom, me, you, and Lucero, and um, I was supposed to bring like, I don't even remember what I was supposed to bring, like candy or something like that, candy bars, because it was like gonna be the dessert. And this is us, you know, we're 15, 16, You're 17. To grill. Yeah, you're supposed to grill and there we weren't going to bring a ton of stuff to grill. So I brought like candy bars and like paper plates and something else. And then Tom had, was it shrimp? Yes. And then you had steak. And Lucero had like something else. I can't remember. And <laughs> we all brought our stuff except for, I think Lucero forgot something, I believe. Maybe. I, I believe. I don't and remember. What, what did you, you forgot the steak. I John, got the aluminum foil. I didn't bring the steak. Yeah, so I mean, we ended up cooking in that class and it was like we literally had candy bars and 
uh, shrimp. And I didn't like shrimp at the time, so and I. And you know what? They weren't even cooked right either. It was it was gross. It was. It was disgusting. Yeah. We ruined those shrimp. So hardcore. that's that's pretty much how we met. Like initially met during that class. I think you either talked to me. In, I think it was in person. You talked to me, and you're like, "Where are you working?" And I was like, "I work at Target. I'm cashier." And you're like, "Oh, well, I'm gonna apply there. So can you put a good word in for me?" And I ended up talking to. I think it was Ruth. She at the time it was Ruth, right? Yes. And I loved her. Um, she was cool. Yeah. And uh, I ended up talking to her and I told her, hey, you know, my friend John's going to apply. You can, you know, I'm just trying to put in a good word for him because he's really nice. And he's, you know, just a good, good guy. And you ended up starting your job very shortly after that. You know what it says? I applied at like five other places and they just wouldn't get back to me. Really? Yeah. So that's why I was so desperate for a job because I wanted one. But no place was calling me back. Must have been like a lot of people applying at the time or something. Yeah. So then we started working together and I always, we were still both in a relationship. And I always like kind of was flirty with you, but like not like too much because I was dating. So I was like, I really, like it was one of those things where like, I don't know if it's con the considered like the intimidation or whatever, like where you're, like I thought you were so cute and I was like his girlfriend's probably a million times better than me and um, and so like whenever we'd talk I'd get super shy and like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I don't know what that was but I was just... I get it. I, I kind of liked you but I never thought too much on it I guess. We were just friends. And I remember being in the break room once and I was sitting down or you were sitting down, I think, and I came in after you had already started to break. And you're like, you can sit by me, you know? And I didn't. Remember that? Yeah, I do. I, I did. I only thought of you as a friend, but I still thought you were super cute. So That's I so didn't. adorable, huh? You know what I mean, though? Like, yeah. I can't, it's hard to explain how, how. nice. So, yeah, I didn't end up sitting by you. And also, just a sh short little thing we can add into this. Um, when we both worked at Target, the Adam Young came in, which if you guys know the song Fireflies by Owl City, he actually lives in the town that we live in. And um, he came into our work and me and John were both like, we were all freaking out. Yeah, I didn't even know it at first either. Yeah, I remember. Didn't I come up to you and say, dude, did you see that? Yes, and it was after he already walked away. Because at Target, when you work there, you gotta talk to everybody you see. She's supposed to ask him if they need help, and he was just going to the shampoo aisle, so clearly he didn't. But I was like, there's no way that was Adam Young. And it was, which is I was cool. so, yeah, I remember, I remember texting everybody, oh my god, Adam Young just came into Target. Oh my god, because he lives in the same town, so, and he apparently will live here forever because this is where he wants to be. Like, I guess he's just kind of. His like, family. Yeah. Um, he apparently, like, date, I don't know if he dated Taylor Swift, but he. They just wrote a song together, didn't they? they? Well, they did, but he liked her a lot, and I think she liked him for a while, too. I don't know. You guys can research that. But anyway, um, I think we quit. I ended up quitting my job because I was really, really, like, depressed, and it was, like, a lot of it was due to my previous relationship and, like, stuff that was going on in that. So I was just kind of all messed up, and um, we ended up breaking up, and I moved an hour away. And I lived there from May of 2012 up until December of 2012. And I think in November, you messaged me on Facebook and you started talking to me. And I kept, I, I remember my thought in my head was, hey, I'm single. I like him. He's attractive. And I thought you were still dating the girl that you were with. And... I never had seen what she looked like before because I never snooped, I never looked at anything, I never cared about that. I just was like, whatever, you know, super passive about it. And um, I ended up kind of trying, like, I ignored him a lot. Remember? I would dodge his messages all the time. And he gets mad when I'd say that, but I did. Yeah, you kind of did. You are messed up. I ignored him all the time. I wasn't interested. And I was just trying to have friends. Yeah. That's so mean. Well, because I didn't... You know what? I thought I'm thinking you were... about this now. Be okay, because... But think about it. Think about it this way. I was in a relationship that was so shitty that I thought when you had a boyfriend or girlfriend, you could not be friends with other people. 
That's yeah. how, that's what I was used to. So, I, I didn't think about it like that. I was like, well, he's got a girlfriend. I need to respect that. I'm not going to try and talk to him or become, so we were friends, but we weren't like super, super close. We were really good friends, you know, because we hung out in the class at school and at work. We seen each other all the time. We've seen each other every day, multiple times a day because of that. But I didn't want to get like close to you or like, because I got, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I got feelings for people. Like, if I am around you a lot, I might have caught feelings for you, and I didn't want that to happen. And I knew you were in a relationship, so I just didn't really want to even try. Like, because I was, I don't know. My logic back then was just kind of stupid, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was young. I was only 17, 18 years old. So and then you asked me a question, like my opinion on it or something. And then I was like, be. I was like, wait, aren't you dating this girl and you're like no i broke up with that dumb bitch or something i remember i remember you saying something like that i wish i had the messages but i don't think i do yeah so i was messaging you because me and my buddy were gonna go to the casino and we're like well god we it's really not that fun going with two nathan people nathan was my really good friend too so i was like hell yeah that wasn't him i'm talking about Celso though oh um so we we're looking for somebody to go with we're like god you know and i mentioned to you that we were going and you said you didn't live far away. So I'm thinking like, oh wow, I can just invite you then. So if you don't live far away, you're probably more likely to go. It's like, well, if you want to come, you can, you know, bring your, your friend with or whatever. So we got a group of four, so it's not awkward, you know? That way you got somebody else that you know to talk to. So she did, she brought her cousin and we had a great time. And I felt sparks almost immediately when- That was the first time we had, uh, we had hung out though, like um, outside of like, school and um work but you had asked me to go with and we went to the mall of america and that was the second time was it yes first time we just went to the casino oh we went to little six and yeah i don't have the messages i think you do on your account though i doubt it because i think those two oh no that is your account no. But yeah, so we went to the casino, hung out, had a great time. It was like tons of fun. Ashton almost knocked herself out on a light. We went to Perkins after we went to the casino, and I and I stuck. A, did you stick a fry in your? Uh... I stuck a fry in my burger and then lit it on fire. How stupid you look right now. <laughs> oh. Oh. I have the video. Like a candle, yep. And then I blew it out like it was a birthday cake. Yep. It was just too cute. We had gone to Perkins in the casino and then we kept kind of talking and we were gonna hang out again We kept talking about it and at this point like I flirted with you But back then I was kind of flirty with oh, Not lying. I was kind of a flirt with a lot of people just because I was oh. I that's just how I was back then you know that like that's just how I was and so um then, you know, and I really did like you. I really did. Even though I was flirty like that, I still liked you. Like, I just didn't... I remember my... Well, I'm not going to say that, but... Um, I still really liked you. I just thought you were too good for me. And I never thought too far into it. Because I was like, hey, this guy's just my friend. He's way too good for me. He's too good looking. Blah, blah, blah. Then we hung out a second time. And this is where it gets interesting. Should we cut that and then do a second? Yeah, we're gonna leave that for a part two to leave everybody hanging. Just like a good episode of Dragon Ball. All right guys, we will do a second part. Unfortunately, we don't have time right now to do it, but we'll probably film another one maybe when we get home. Otherwise, if worst case scenario, a different day, but it'll be posted later on. So you guys are gonna have to be on the lookout for the second part. And we'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.